Welcome to our video on matter, so Year 8 Chemical Sciences. Today we're going to be talking about what is matter, um, and we're going to run through a few things regarding matter, and some of it may be revision, some may be new stuff, so uh, hopefully we can get some get some learning done. All right, some of our learning intentions for this lesson um, is we want to understand what matter is, we want to understand the terms mass and volume, um, we're going to identify matter in its different states, so we're going to be able to look at uh, different different things in those different states. We're going to understand how the particle theory of matter is used in science and identify the changes in states of matter. So it's just a it, it is a revision, but um, hopefully you will learn, you may learn something new in this video. All right, what is matter? Well, basically everything in the physical world is matter. Um, matter is basically anything that has mass and volume and they're two key things that we need to be looking for to identify if uh, if it is matter so everything in the physical world um, consists of small little particles called atoms uh, and basically they have mass and they have volume um, but yeah basically everything matters so if we think of that everything in the physical world consists of matter all right so if we clarify those two terms Mass is how much matter is in an object. So how much is in, in of that object there is. And basically we measure this um, using what you'll see here. We use like a scale, um, but it's measured in grams, milligrams, kilograms, etc. Those units of measure. The other the other component of, of what matter is, is volume. And volume is basically how much space an object takes up. So the, the sheer size. So how much matter it has and how much space it has um, combined to make what, what that um, object actually is. So we usually generally measure this in milliliters or liters or uh, some gallons. There's lots of different types of measurements for volume, but basically... Um, Milliliters and liters would be the, the, the scientific unit of measure there. All right, so what do we know about matter? Well, it, well, it exists in, in most cases, three states. Okay, not everything exists in all three states, but we've got uh, over on the left here, we've got ice cubes, which we can consider solid. We've got, um, we've got a glass there of liquid, a glass of what looks like water. And then we've got some steam here of vapor, um, coming out of that pan which we call which would be classified as a gas so or water vapor um, water is a really really good substance to use because it actually exists in all three forms and we can actually manipulate it really easily so um, we've got solids liquids and gases you know other solids you know you could think of rocks you could think of wood you could think of you know your computer you, anything look around that um, you know that you might have that's that is that you would consider solid. It would be a solid, like liquids, you know, orange juice, milk, water. There's a whole lot of different liquids that you'd be able to identify, and gases the same. You probably know of different the names of different gases. Air itself is a gas. It's composed of different subgases or gas or gas particles, but basically, um, air itself is a gas. All right, so what do scientists do? How do they explain things? So this is where we're going to start to get into, into our ability to explain. And we're going to use something called the particle theory of matter. Now, you may have seen the particle theory, and you may have used it, and hopefully you have, and that's going to be, it's going to be, uh, we're going to be building upon that. But basically what it is, it's a scientific model of the structure of matter. Scientists use these models, I guess, to explain, um, that it helps them provide an explanation for the properties and behavior of matter. So what the actual properties of matter are, so how, it, what are its characteristics and how it actually behaves when certain things, certain things happen. So on the next slide, we're actually going to see, um, an example of the modeling of the three states of matter. And you may have actually seen these, um, different types of models this is more of a three-dimensional but you can see there we've got sort of a solid type structure we've got liquid there where there it sort of looks like it might be flowing a little bit and then we've got our gas here which actually looks like it's flowing quite um it, you know it's moving around in that container so we're going to actually use the particle theory to start to explain 
and understand the behavior and the properties of these three states. One thing you may have done before with the three states is looked at when they actually change. I'm going to go through some terms now when they change um, and then moving on we can actually start to use the particle theory to explain these changes. All right, so what we've got to start with is we've got the solid liquids and gases here and you can see and I've actually got some arrows here going in two different directions and I've actually got them colored one red one two red and two blue okay so for the red ones we're actually going to be looking at the changes when we're actually heating up the matter okay so when we go from solid to liquid we call that melting. When we go from liquid to gas, we actually call that evaporation. Okay, so an object um, is evaporated. From solid to liquid, it's melting, and from liquid to gas, we call that evaporation. Now what we have here, I'm going to look at the blue lines, and now what we're actually doing, we're going in the opposite direction. And when we're actually using the blue lines, we're actually cooling. So heating, we're actually adding energy. Cooling, we're actually taking energy away. So when we move from a gas to a liquid, we actually call this condensation. And when we actually move from a liquid to a solid, we actually call this oops, solidification. Or... Another term could be freezing. And there are different points at which different substances actually change states. So the point that a, 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 a substance changes from solid to liquid, we call it melting point. And then the, um, the point where it actually changes from liquid to gas, we actually call it boiling point. And then uh, coming back here, we actually call the point where it actually changes from liquid to solid, it's freezing point. So there's, there's a few different terms there that you, you may want to, um, we'll start to um, get a better understanding of as we move into the topic. But yeah, that's the basics of, of matter. It can change state. That's what it looks like. And I guess we'll, um, we'll start to explain that more. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.